Okay, welcome back, guys. I got Chef Prime here. What's gonna, good, y'all? I'm gonna ask him some few questions. Yep. All right. So, why is networking and building relationships important in business? Uh, you're leaving a lasting impression on everybody that you're interacting with. Um, and let me let me let me tell you a story. This, this is a cool story, right? Now I'm not going to say no names. I'm going to veer away from that, right? But uh, let's let's say when I first started Next Chef Network, and this is why networking, even though it's separate, networking and relationship building. Um, but I want to leave this with you, to all the viewers. So when I created Hiri Chef Again podcast and Next Chef Network, those was like a thing that was coincide with each other, right? Uh, I wanted to test the, the waters per se and start to line up potential uh, interviews. Now, I vividly remember talking to a black owned business. I did my pitch, I sent her my pitch and she simply, she told me no in a nice way and I respect that. And her reasoning were because I didn't have enough of followers or stuff like that or projects or interviews like underway, right? And I'm like, okay, that's cool. But the, the manner in which she did it, I had this impression that she felt as though her business was up here and I was down here somewhere. So you have to remember everybody you know, like, yeah, it's your business. Do what you want with it. You don't have to entertain. You don't have to entertain everybody, right? Protect your business. But at the same time, be cautious of how you respond and deal with people. Because it's those same people that just started a business that at some point in the, in the future are going to scale and be the business that you need to scale your business, the tables will be turned. So if you go around and you're looking down on people because you think that, hey, my business is here, these are the numbers we're doing, you're just starting now, I don't need you. Well, at some point you're gonna need that person if they blow. Um, networking, you know, is it, something where you got to do because networking actually help you scale your business. Tools in your toolkit for now and or later. And relationship building, it's it's that last an impression. Like people start businesses and they say customer service, customer service. That is more on the personal side of business, relationship building. And they both work hand in hand. Now, I'm at a point right now in my media businesses where I'm getting millions of views every week. At the lowest, a couple hundred thousand, but that's like an inactive week. Um, my subscribers going through the roof since then, and I'm in a very unique and very good situation. So now, do I need to interview her? No. Am I thinking about her business? No, I have since moved on. Could I reach out to this lady and ask for an interview and get it? Yes, because I have, you know, the, the viewership, I have the subscribers, I have the like everything that she was originally saying no to me for. You see what I'm saying? So you gotta be careful with how you handle people. And you gotta remember relationship building and networking goes a long way.
Yeah. Why is health important in business? Um, because you, you know you start a business for longevity, and you don't want to make hundreds of thousands or millions of dollars and 80-90% of it is going to hospital bills. You know, if you are a entrepreneur, you are an athlete. Hands down. You're an athlete. You gotta handle your business with the same focus and drive as any of these athletes do when they're playing a variety of sports. You're going to be working extra long hours, so you need to understand the importance of sleep, breaks, vacationing. Um, you know, you're going to have to be aware of your eating habits, because if you're not putting the right type of uh, nutrients um, and you're not staying on top of being hydrated, you're not only going to burn and crash out, but you're going to end up in a hospital for nutrients deficiency. You're going to feel tired. Your body is going to be hurting almost every day because you're not working out. You're not eating and drinking the right things. And your approach to sleep, you know, you're dealing with sleep deprivation. All of that is going to be out the door. Business is business, but you're an athlete at the end of the day. If you don't take care of yourself now, your body is not going to take care of yourself later. And this is why you have entrepreneurs. Yeah, they're successful, but they're going to the doctors. They're, they're on uh, sleep medications. They're on all kind of stuff just to keep their body working. But if they were uh, health conscious from the start, they'll be totally different. They'll be perfectly fine. What are your long-term goals or aspirations for the Next Chef Network? Um, to eventually do business uh, with uh, Fox Entertainment. And the reason why I say Fox Entertainment is because, you know, you got Chef Gordon Ramsay that's running all of his show through mm -hmm. Gordon Ramsay uh, Productions that's that done a deal with Fox Entertainment. Uh, I believe Fox Entertainment is one of those big studios that understand the importance of having a food TV show. I'm not going to say Food Network because that applies Food Network, but to have a food concept show running through their distribution channels. Um, so that's one of the, the long-term things that I've actually want to do with Next Chef Network is to actually be on a TV screen somewhere running all of my uh, productions at scale. Um, and what was the other part of that question? Uh, long goals or aspirations for Next Chef Network. Okay, so, and you know, the, the aspirations is to, to really push myself creatively. I want to max out creatively. You know, I'm from the hospitality industry. I know what works on on camera. I know what people want to see. Understand? So I want to be able to, to take that chef network, max out, uh, get other people, other uh, culinary entrepreneurs and chefs on board, give them deals to Next Chef Network, get them rich, get them to being a celebrity chef, um, and then stick in the game creatively. What are some of the biggest opportunities that you see on the horizon for your industry? Uh, the, <laughs> the beauty there, there, there's, there's beauty in destruction, okay? So if you look at the creative space and you look at Hollywood, it's undergoing massive change. 
uh, destructively, but you gotta tear things down to erect something that's more beautiful, right? So in the creative space, a lot of people are making major shifts, right? Hollywood is burning themselves financially out. Um, when you're looking at a lot of the platforms, there's no innovation. There's no real innovation, right? So, you know, where, where you come in is allowing these cycles to happen. A lot of people are shifting gears. They go into different states and they're setting up shop. Uh, and you're going to see a lot of opportunity come from people in the movie business in Hollywood. They're actually going to get into the YouTube space and kill it. They're going to take their talents from the silver screen and then they're going to apply it to, to YouTube and other social media channels, right? And there's, there's going to be so much of a revitalization that's going to happen when that happens. And you could even, and, and I'm heavy on research, so I've already seen, and this was really music to my ears, because when I hear stuff like this, I'm like, wow, this is, this is incredible stuff. So even in the YouTube space, a lot of the creators that deal with food, right, um, there's been a steady decline uh, of viewership because people are tired of watching the same type of content. How many times are you gonna cook spaghetti the same way? But the only thing you're doing as a creator is providing a different background. How many times are you gonna do like the same old stuff? There's no innovation. So what that means for me and the beauty of it is that Next Chef Network, the competition in the playing field is now becoming slowly non-existent. And that leaves an open, wide open door for a person like myself and my abilities and creativity and innovation to come through and collect everything that is out there. Because I have no competition in this space. How do you see your role or company evolving in the next five to 10 years? Um, growing and, and taking over. Uh, you know, just steadily putting out very interesting, very fun, educational sometimes uh, content, working with every community and every market that I grow into. Uh, interviewing, you know, a lot of the hospitality to include beverage owners and stuff like that, but like interviewing uh, interesting hospitality entrepreneurs under Harry Chef Again podcast um, and, and gaining a real stronghold in the media business in my sub industry. Five, 10 years straight interviewing, pumping out consistent dope content, like what else do you want in the media business? I want to take market share and I will take market share and I will obtain my media goals. I have, the, there's no plan B. There's no plan C, I'm, I'm going to take over. All right, well, I'll be all for today's video. If you like the video, make sure to subscribe, like, course of the video and comment any questions you have for chef prime that's right thank you yep, and we'll see y'all in the next video